Hey everyone, so I figure it's time. I've had eight gazillion requests for this and so I figure it would just be easier to put it on a video and put it on the website. So this video is going to be a video about my client binder system. I'm going to do a separate video about um, customer service. So this one will be kind of that way you have two short ones instead of one really long one. So um, first of all, I want to say before I show you how um, I handle my clients is that I um, came up with this system through trial and error of everybody else's systems that I've tried and it just never worked for me. I found that I was losing clients. I wasn't getting to the right clients at the right time. Um, I didn't know how to service them well or how to follow up with them. And it was just so hard keeping, trying to use computer programs or like, once every 30 or once every like three months or something whatever the 30 days three weeks or so i don't know there are just eight billion systems out there now i want to also make sure that you all understand i'm not saying anybody else's system isn't as good as mine because whatever works for you is what works for you and that's what's important this is just what has worked extremely well for me and helped me build a client base of over 500 clients so um i just uh I love it and I thought I would share it with you because there have been a lot of teams who have used it and it's working really well with them. So I just love sharing. So I figured I'd do that on this video. So the first thing you need are three binders. Okay. Um, I believe it was Pam Vandenbalk who spoke at one of the first celebrations. I have a hair here or something. Uh, one of the first celebrations or leaderships that I was at and she said binders, binders, binders. If you have binders for everything, you won't have stacks of paper everywhere. And so it's a motto that I try to live by. Obviously, every once in a while you get a little stack going, but you're able to put it away very quickly when you have a binder system for everything. So I have lived by that from that point forward. So I have three binders. The first binder I have is called my spa client binder okay my second binder i have is my skincare client binder and the third binder i have is my gold star client binder okay so let's talk about the three binders when everybody places their first order with me i am so sorry i have a hair here that's bothering me <laughs> Nothing like a real life video. When um, somebody places a first order with me, they are either going to go into my skincare or my spa client binder, okay? So first time they order from me, no matter what, they're gonna go into my skincare or my spa client binder. Now, how I determine which binder they go into is by what they ordered. If nothing in their order is skincare, then they are going to go into my spa client binder. What I mean by that is if nothing is the spa facial or the instant facelift, eye creams, things like that. If nothing in their order is skincare, it's either spa stuff or makeup or a combination of that stuff, then they're gonna go into my spa client binder, okay? If their first order contains anything skincare, it could be mixed in with 12 other spa items, but if they have an eye cream in there or tight firm and fill for the face or their skincare, whatever, if there is something skincare in that first order they place, then they are going into my skincare client binder, okay? Now, everybody stays in those two binders until they place their second order with me. Now, that second order could be them coming to another spa, them calling me up to place an order, me calling them, them shooting me an email, what, however it comes about. When they place that second order, I take them out of whatever binder that they were in and I put them into my Gold Star Client Binder. My Gold Star Client Binder is what I guess you could call your reorder client binder. I just say Gold Star because that's how I identify with them in emails to make them feel special. So um, those are my three binders. So you have your spa, client binder for your first time orders who have nothing with skincare in it. Your skincare client binder for people who something in their order with skincare in that first order. And then your reorder or your gold star client binder, which is um, that they have placed a second order with you no matter where it came from. Okay. Now in the binders, I find it extremely helpful to have so you'll need three binders for this system and then you need three sets of A through Z sheet separators. So in my binders, I have A through Z sheet separators so that I can separate everybody by their last name alphabetically. Um, a lot of people are like, why if you only have 25 clients? 
You're right, when you start out your business, it'll be very small and you'll have lots of empty spaces. But as you build and build and build, it's gonna become harder and harder. And even though you might not think it takes up a lot of time, shuffling through tons of papers to try to find somebody can take up excess amounts of time that you could be spending with your kids, running errands, reading a book, doing something for you. So the whole point of this business is to make it convenient around your family life and your personal schedule. So that's why I have the A through Z sheet separator so that you can put your clients in via their last name and it makes it extremely easy to find them. Okay. Um, so I have those three binders. I have the A through Z sheet separators and then all of my clients, I don't care if they're an email lead from corporate, if I met them at a spa, a one-on-one, -on -one, if they bought something off of me from, you know, somebody's soccer practice, whatever it is, they fill out a client profile sheet for me. Now my client profile sheet is something I'm very proud of. It's something I created about Oh, I'd say almost five years ago. I have it posted on the website, on the page you're watching this video from, as well as under the in-home spa section of spa training and information. And the client profile sheet gives you all of their information. We'll talk in the next video on how I use that information. But every single person that places an order with me, they have one client profile sheet. All of their receipts, their white copies, get stapled to the back. So you have three copies for your receipts, whether you use beauty controls or get them at Staples, no matter what, you've got a white copy, a yellow copy, and a pink copy. So the white copy, I staple to their back of their client profile sheet, and I put them into the binder. And even when they place that second or third order, all of those white copies are all getting stapled to that sheet. That way, when I wanna go call a client, I have their entire order history, my communication history with them, all in one location, okay? The yellow copy, I make a spa summary sheet after every spa so that I can keep track of that one spa, who ordered, what they ordered, that I delivered it, when I delivered it, etc. Um, so I put all the yellow copies stapled to the back of my spa summary sheet that night when I come home from my spa. And then the pink copy I give to them that night when they place their order. Okay, so I don't include a receipt with the products when I deliver them, only because um, they're getting it that night that they placed an order with me. Now, if a client places an order via email or over the phone after her first order, I'll include her receipt in with her order. Just make sure you take a black marker, a uh, permanent marker to their credit card number, just in case the order were to get lost or somebody steals it, they don't have that person's information on there. So. Um, that is basically how my binder system works. Now, in regards to contact, um, I do call my clients every single month, no exceptions. Um, and I can tell you that I went through a lot of personal stuff um, in my family life last year, and I probably lost 150 to 200 clients because I didn't follow up with them. And I, I'm a big stats tracker, and I've kept track of months that I have checked in with clients and months that I have not. The months that I call all of my clients, I get anywhere between $1,000 to $2,500 in reorders. And the months that I don't, I get somewhere between zero to 150, maybe $200 max in reorders. You're talking about hundreds of dollars in profit you are losing if you are sitting there waiting for your clients to call you. Now, because I use a client profile sheet, it gives me things to talk to them about. So that's why I use the sales and specials that Beauty Control gives us each month. And I find with each client how to highlight one of those specials to communicate with them on. So just so you have the three binders, you have the, your three A through Z sheet separators, you know how to separate your clients now. And then the other thing is contact. So I contact my clients once every month. I call my spa clients only during the daytime so that I can leave them a voicemail. I always call my reorder clients at nighttime and I try to call my skincare clients at nighttime if I can. If I can't, then I'll call them during the day, but I really wanna try to communicate with them um, on the phone in person. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's how that works. I keep my clients for one full year. I contact them for 12 months, and if after the 12 month period, they have not called me back or emailed me back or placed a second order, I remove their client uh, profile sheet from my client binder. However, I keep them on client connection. So um, that's kind of how my binder system works. And so the second video will go into more detail on how I provide my customer service. So I hope you found that helpful. As always, if you have any questions in regards to my system, please feel free to shoot me an email at kelly at kellyspadivas.com. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.